Welcome back to Holistic Developer. I'm Anna and if you're new here, welcome. I'm glad that you are coming in and I hope you stay here for a long time. Here you will find content about software engineering, career in tech, personal development and so much more. So I'll be happy you will if you will consider to subscribe to this channel, turn the notification bell, and make sure to like the video if you enjoy it. So let's get into today's topic, and that is what is next for me? And that is what is next for me after I left my job as a software engineer. You probably saw the video, I'll probably link it somewhere here, where I announced that I left my software engineering career or job that I had for the last eight years. And then I dropped another video where I explained why I did that. And now is what is next for me? What's next in my journey? What's next in my path? What's, let's turn the page and see where I'm going next. So when I decided to take the decision of stopping working and going to study, I was exploring multiple courses, let's say that, multiple paths from which the top two were machine learning. The second one was web development. So after a lot of research, and um, research was about curriculum and available opportunities and what, some other aspects as well. After thorough research, I decided to stay with the software engineering path and do a web development bootcamp. So I explored all the boot camps around the area and the criteria was the location, the curriculum, and that it is in person because I really, really wanted to do something in person. I wanted to be immersed, to work with other people, collaborate, learn, and so much more, right? So I left my job in at the end of February and I was supposed to start my boot camp on March 16th and it was on on campus, on, in person boot camp. However, as all of you around the world know that we are in the pand pandemic scenario right now where everybody is working from home, only the the basic and necessary businesses are running. So in this case, boot camp is not, and nobody's wondering why. The decision for me it was to see if I want to continue with that. So the bootcamp that I chose, I was happy with it, with the curriculum that I had for the in-person bootcamp. But when I checked their online curriculum, I was not as happy as I wanted to be. So I started to really quickly search for other bootcamps that the online curriculum, it will be a good option for me. So shortly I found App Academy, which I was really surprised about their curriculum, about everything that I read about them. Their reviews are really good. So I had really short time. I think it was a week. Yeah, it was a week for me to get in and they have like five level um, gate to get in. There is like a, um, capacity testing, then a, foreign, a phone interview, then a uh, non-technical phone interview, then you have to do assessments and it's like it's multi-level. Long story short, I got in and that's what I'm doing. For the foreseeable future, for the next six months, that's what I will be doing. I will be studying uh, at App Academy online and currently the curriculum, we are focusing on JavaScript, then it will be Python and other things that we'll be learning. So that is what is next for me. I want to focus right now for the next six months, focus on learning and studying and applying the knowledge that I get and have that done. And then we'll see what's next. I don't want to plan for anything. I don't want to see and hope for something. I just have this goal right now to do this, I committed my time for the next six months to do this, and that's what I'll be doing. And a lot of you might be wondering, like, isn't a bootcamp for entry level? <laughs> and I was wondering about that as well. And I was worried that for a person who has already a background in software engineering, has actually 
experience getting into a bootcamp if that's a good idea. And to be honest, I'm pleasantly surprised that that's, um, that's not the case, that it's only for entry-level people, the curriculum that we are going through, the practice items that we are doing, everything that we are doing by day by day keeps all of us, including me, on my toes. And I'm happy to hear and see that and I'm challenged and I enjoy that. So yeah, hopefully that answers some of, some of your questions. And yeah, if you have any clarifications or anything that you would like me to share about the maybe the enrollment to App Academy Bootcamp or any other things that you might be wondering, feel free. <laughs> Feel free to drop them in the comment below and I'll do my best to answer those questions. However, keep in mind that right now I'm trying to focus on studying things. So I might be not replying immediately, but I will reply definitely. And as always, feel free to like the video. That will help me a lot. And if you haven't subscribed yet, feel free to do that right now because that will notify you when I'm dropping new videos, which will be even better than this ones and the ones before because I'm a work in progress, right? Well, stay healthy and well and talk to you next time. Bye bye.